All right, I have to hurry up and do this. I just got this um, digital thermometer. This is my first time actually using, like I have thermometers, but a digital thermometer, the kind, this is so cool, the kind that um, you time and kind of like stick it to, uh, it's like magnetized, you stick it to um, your oven. But what I am making is a prime rib roast um, I got friends coming over. So this is a seven pound prime rib roast. I probably got some time last year, so it's like time to make it. Um, I know a chef on here that, you know, specializes in meat, so please don't judge me. Oh crap. But <clears throat> what I did do was, um, season this with sea salt, uh, black pepper liberally. Um, olive oil, I cut slits in it and put garlic in it. I put some good olive oil on it, rubbed it down. Um, and I just seasoned it with um, sea salt, black pepper, celery seed, coffee grounds, um, garlic powder, and onion powder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put this in the oven, um, five minutes per pound at 500 degrees. So I'm probably going to do like 35, 40 minutes. And then what you do is turn the oven off and don't open it for two hours. You cannot open the oven. So I got the internal temperature set at, um, 150 degrees because I think it was one... 35 would be medium rare and um, you know, I like it that way, but you know, I have company I don't know if everyone else likes it that way um, But I got this at Kohl's it was 20% um, off so it was like $27.99 and I had a 30% off uh, a 30% off coupon so and I bought like a roasting pran and I bought like kitchen towels So I only end up spending like the price of this which is like $30 on everything that I bought at Kohl's just now but I'm so excited to use this. Um, so I have it um, stuck inside the um, kind of the meatiest part of the roast, not touching any fat or bone. Um, so I better put this in now because we're supposed to eat dinner at like four. So once this comes out, um, af after two hours, um, I'm just gonna let it rest and I'm gonna make my sides. I'm making like green beans and just like a quick roast of potatoes with like Parmesan. Um, we got our blinds up, they look so good. It looks so much better than the bamboo. Um, I'm also doing a cheese platter. Um, I'm letting this come out, sit out to rest because my company is coming like a half an hour. Um, so I got the fromage daffanois, what baby? Oh, Elena and Amira and Miss Chrissy. And um, I got some um, spread. It's like blackberry, cherry. I think it's Stonewall Kitchen. Some grapes. Um, this is the cheese that I got last time when we had gone out. It's probably a couple weeks old, but it's still good. But it's the cranberry. Um, oh, no. I didn't get this a couple weeks ago. This is a cranberry Stilton. I forgot when I got it. Um, I got some olives, some savory items, some um, stone ground mustard, and this is a cheddar. And um, I'm going to spread some salami, nice thin slice. Um, I also am going to include, this is um, Ghanaian chocolate. Yeah, chocolate from Ghana. I got this at Aldi for $1.99. So another sweet element. So I have like three savory elements and three sweet elements to kind of go with the cheese. And then um, these are from Aldi too. A variety of crackers are very good. Um, so I'm gonna open a bottle of red wine. Um, I have a rosé too. I might run out and get a white wine because I want a white wine too to try the different cheeses. But yeah, so that's me entertaining. I'll see you guys later, bye.